in case your website is not doing really well in search results and you find google search console overwhelming and your boss teammates and clients they are really nagging you all the time about all those search console issues i know it can be really hard when you tried everything but you do not have any effect in your search console report if yes then let me tell you how to unlock the power of google search console with 10 easy tips and make your life easier and guys please i recommend you share this video with your boss your colleague with your clients who is always nagging you about these search console issues okay let's start the first one google search console is a tool created by google to help you not against you it is not there to telling you you have all this problem your website your website is really bad and all those things no this is a tool created by google to guide you to understand your website pages how they're performing search results and what errors these pages have so you can fix them and your ranking can be higher because a lot of time i think when people they look at the search console report they take it very negatively and sometimes it can really impact the approach that how you want to fix the pages so please understand google search console is there to help you out with your website seo so once you understand this google search console is your friend then let's go to second tip which is really important which is how to read the reports and identify errors in search console okay so you can see when you're in search console and most of the people will have issue with indexing so when you go to indexing here left side bar you can click on pages and then you can see 84 pages are not indexed and 32 pages are indexed and when you scroll here you can see all the pages which should be indexed they are not indexed page with redact error duplicate with user selected canonical alternate page with proper canonical tag and crawl currently not indexed there are 68 pages which are not indexed by google and we have other issues also so actually what happened this is a report if you click any of these issues for example if i click on this report page with redact the solution is inside the search console so if you understand google search console properly you do not need to watch my videos or any videos on the internet you can just go to your report and you can find the fix let me give you an example for example this is the report for page with redirect issues these are the urls which are facing these issues okay if i click on this glass icon you can see here and you can see this is a detail about this issue for this page so this is the url where i am facing this issue this page is url is not on google and now we scroll here, you can see page indexing, page is not indexed, page will redirect. And the important thing to see here is discovery, that where this page is found, how Google know about this page. So you can see sitemaps, no referring sitemap detected, so which means this page is not added in sitemap. And referring page, there's no page detected, which is referring to this page. And you can see user declared canonical, there's no issue here also, is the home page of website. What you can do, you can just click here on test live URL. When you cannot find any error on this page, what you need to do is just click on test live URL. And you can see URL is available to Google and then there is no issue. Now this sign is green. Page can be indexed to Google. But what is happening here? So this page is a page which I am using as home page on my WordPress website. And if I show you this page, let me click copy this and open a new tab. If I open this page, you can see if I open this, it is the home page on my website. So there is no issue here. Google know about this page which is not something we need to fix here. It is totally fine if you see this kind of page. Let me give you one more example. For example, this is second page here, which is having the same error, page with redirect. If I click on this glass icon, then you can see URL is not on Google. And now this is the interesting part where Google gives you all the solution. So you can see sitemaps, no referring sitemap detected, which means this page doesn't exist in the sitemap. That's a good thing because I don't want this page to be indexed. That's why I disabled this page. And it is the author page, you know the author page where the detail of the author is written. I don't want this page to be indexed. But somehow Google knows about it. And how Google knows about it, you can see referring page. So I have two referring pages which are sending Google signal, okay, that this page exists on my website. If I open this page, referring page, and then you can see just here by contributor. So this is the author page. So what I have done, I have disabled the author page on my website but I have not disabled the links which goes to author page on my website. So you know, Google told you what was the issue and how we can fix it. So I need to remove this kind of URLs from my website because I don't have that page active. Or what I can do, I can make the author page active. If you want to know how to make it, this totally different topic. I'll add some information in the description that how you can do that. You just need to dig down these reports and you can find the solution and why this solution is happening inside the Google Search Console report. So don't worry about it. Reports are there to help you out, not against you. Third tip is really important. If you do not see any error and it's not really helpful, how you can fix those things. What might be happening? Google is not able to see your page properly. What does that mean? So what you need to do is go to any page which is having some issues. For example, I take this page and then you need to click on test live URL. And then you see this option view tested page. Click on this and then go here on screenshot. 
guys this is really important sometimes you don't find any error on google index here everything here is fine so what you need to do is go to live test and then view tested page and then go to screenshot and guys make sure here the preview of the page is loading fine there should not be any error or missing images here sometime because of javascript and lot of cache plugin we use on the website this preview can be disturbed and google is not able to read the pages properly so google say okay this page is not loading properly we not going to index this page and that might cause you some issues so always test your website preview by google tool it's possible that page might look normal on your browser on your mobile phone but please if you face some issues and you cannot find a solution please preview the page by google live test tool okay the next tip will be wait for some time whenever you make any changes on the website you fix some issues please wait some time so i received so many comments on this channel and people are so impatient they say okay i implement all the solution but i see no changes in google search console report guys google is a big search engine and it crosses millions of website maybe billions of website every day so you need to be patient you need to be patient that when the google crawler will come next time on your website or maybe in some time this issue will be fixed so ideally i suggest you wait for 2 weeks do not get so impatient that okay you fix the issue today and you want solution in like today tomorrow in few days no ideally wait for like couple of weeks or maybe a month to see the real effect because i know it happened with me sometime i fixed the issue and it took months to disappear those issue from the search report and sometimes these issue are not just issues google is just experimenting with lot of things for example recently video pages here and you can see the video enhancement are here this can be sometimes very confusing i created a complete video about it sometimes this issue will automatically will be gone with time so just be patient don't be impatient and please send this video to your boss and tell them okay guys please hold on calm down wait for some time i've done everything what i could have done and now let's wait for the google to update the database and refresh the search console reports so if you are working in seo patience is the key for you okay next tip don't abuse the request indexing you can see if you fix some issue you will live test and some people what they do and they directly click on request indexing or what happens people go on pages and then for example they go to this error page with redirect and they directly click here validate fix even they haven't made any significant changes against these issues so guys if you abuse this thing you click on validate fix frequently or request indexing what google will think okay they haven't made any big changes about the issues and they're using this option too much so by this you're spending a crawl budget that's totally different topic a video is coming on that topic very soon and google will say okay they are doing these changes and always submitting the website without any significant actions so let's do one thing let's do not crawl the website very often and that can be a thing which can go against you so guys only when you made the correct changes then only you use this option validate fix or request indexing in google search console so we are almost in the middle of the video and if you are still watching i would really appreciate if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel these videos take a lot of time to create they are very well researched videos and they are free to you so if you like the video subscribe to the channel i would really happy and that will really motivate me to make more of these kind of videos and subscribing is totally free so please destroy the like button and gently press the subscribe button i would really really appreciate that okay let's go back to 60 which is identify the security issues in your website so in google search console what you can do you can go here security and manual actions and then click here on security issues so if you have any security issue in your website it will be shown here sometime what happens you have thousands of pages on your website and your website might be hacked and there's no other option knowing this thing in google search console of course you can see on your website by a security plugin everybody should use a security plugin i recommend wordfence cloudflare anti malware plugin but yes time to time you should come here and check the security issues if you have any security issue on your website okay next tip is obsessing about core web vitals so guys if you go to your website you see core web vitals here and then you see your pages are performing very poor and i created so many videos how to correct core web vitals and make your website super fast and get the perfect page speed scores and how you can correct lcp fcp website and so many other things but what happened when you make those changes again what do you do you come back in this report and then you say okay the report is still showing same thing so okay this report is collected over 28 days of period so once you fix those issues please wait 28 days or at least like few days so you can see significant effect in this report and for guys who are obsessed about 100 out of 100 google page speed scores this is not the ideal thing guys there are some services which claim they can do 100 out of 100 there are always some compromises if you can get anything about 90 for mobile and 90 plus 95 plus for desktop desktop is really easy you can get easily 95 plus scores but if you can get anywhere 90 plus from mobile devices then they are really good scores don't obsess about speed too much and core web vitals take the action watch any of my videos i'll add the link in description for the important videos so that you can correct the core web vitals 
But once you make changes, wait for a few days and try to keep the balance if you can get 90 plus scores with a good user experience, then that's totally fine. Don't obsess about Core Web Vitals. The next tip would be checking the links coming to your website. In Search Console, you have this option, links. If you click on links, you extend links from the website who are pointing to your website. And here you have internal links, which are links inside your website. For example, you can see there's a link here. Let's get your website, product, technical, SEO consultation. So there are 32 pages or 32 places pointing towards this page. And you can see this home page of my website. So on my website, on different pages, there are 31 places from where my home page is linked. So that's really nice. And that also says that my website is very well connected. Internal linking is very nice. And for SEO, it is really important that your website is very well connected. All the pages, they're connected to the relevant pages. You can see the top linking side, the external website who are linking to your website. You can just click on more. Then you can click on any external website here. Then you can go to website. And now you must be thinking, if you want to remove your links from this website, you cannot do that. And Google is not crazy. Don't worry about it. If somebody tried to add your website link, in a non-appropriate website that will not hurt your SEO because you don't have control over these websites. So don't worry about it. Just for the report, you can see which external website linking to your website. Okay, next thing would be over analyzing the reports. Guys, please do not over analyze the reports. I recommend you check these reports weekly. Do not obsess about reports and try to check these reports every day. Make the changes and then wait for a week and then come back and see, okay, what changes you made? They took some effect on the search console or not? So do not obsess about these reports. Just come weekly and check what progress your website had made. So the last and very important point would be to help Google to index your website properly and fast. How you can do that? You can do this by doing two things. Okay, first thing would be go to sitemap here and then make sure your sitemap is added here and there's no error here. By default, we use a nice SEO plugin like Rank Math or Yoast SEO or Always One SEO. These sitemaps are refreshed whenever there's some content change on your website. But still you can see here when it was last read. So you can see it was last read on 9 June and today is 14 June and you can see that five days this sitemap has not changed. So if you made any changes, what you can do? So every week come here and just click on the sitemap and then from here click on remove sitemap and click remove again. And then what you can do? You can enter the URL of a sitemap and then click on submit. So this will force refresh the sitemap on Google for your website. You can see sitemap submitted successfully and you can dismiss. You can see now we have the update sitemap on the website. The second thing what you can do, you can go to settings here and then you see this option robots.txt, it says valid and then click on open report. And guys, you make sure you don't have any issues here. You're not disallowing the Google bots to access your website or crawl your website. I created a super amazing video that how you can index your website faster and have better ranking just by adding the right robots.txt file. I explained what is the perfect website for WordPress, WooCommerce, Shopify, Webflow, Wix, custom website and blogger website. So if you want to check that amazing video to improve website search engine rankings and index faster, check out this video on screen. And like always, if you like the video, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I really, really appreciate it. And guys, I want to thank you all. We are almost close to reach 25,000 subscribers and because of you supporting the channel, we are able to achieve this milestone.